brothers and sisters welcome back to reborn for greatness ministries i am apostle lachandra and i want to share with you all um a message that holy ashaya gave me um that was in a dream and i feel it's very important um for mainly the women right now um but of course men and women but i think this message is mostly speaking to the women um right now so um we just give Father Ahaya, Holy Ashaya, Holy Spirit, all the glory. Um, in Yeshaya HaMashiach's mighty name, I thank you, Father, for this message to be able to deliver it to um, your people and that they just, their spirits just grab a hold to it, Holy Father, and they, and they just take it back to you and you confirm it to them and that they share the message, Holy Father, of what you're trying to say. Um, in this dream that you have bestowed upon me i'm so grateful and thankful that you continue to um, use me as a vessel to speak to your people to sound the alarm to be your mouthpiece holy father i just i'm so humbled and i love you holy father holy ashaya holy spirit i just ask that you continue to bestow upon me the light and that that light will just shine bright that others may see it and it draws them in and turn to you holy father in Yeshayim says mighty name, I pray, amen. Holy Spirit, I invite you in, I invite you in to be with us, to dwell with us, to, to use my mouth to speak the words of Holy Father, Holy Yeshaya. And, and you can have your way. Um, I submit to my mind, body, spirit, and heart, my limbs, my mouth, all of it. I submit it to you, Holy Father. Have your way. I just plead your precious blood of protection over every mind, body, spirit of y'all watching and listening to this video in Yeshaya Hamashiach's mighty name. I just come right now. Um, with the authority that you have bestowed upon me, Father, and I just rebuke, bind, and cast out all lies, schemes, and stomach blocks of the enemy. Anything that tries to come up against this video right now, I bind it by the blood of Jesus Christ. Any frequency not of the Father, any AI, any, any technology that might try to come um, against this video, I bind it by the blood of Jesus Christ. I just ask that your mighty angels come in with their swords drawn out and to fight against anything that tries to stop this message in Yeshua HaMashiach's mighty name. I close the door on anything not of the Holy Spirit. I close the door, seal it shut with the blood of the Lamb and lock it with the key of David. Holy is Yeshua. Amen. 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 So, um, I had this dream on May the 28th and um okay this it was two separate dreams but still one dream it's like he holy father put me in two different um situations but one of them i'm actually practicing in my real life um so i'll just give you the first dream and then i'll just go in, into the other one so in this first dream um it was me and my sister i don't know if we lived together or or whatever the situation was but i remember her boyfriend um had a, a, a cousin or a friend or something and they wanted to um uh, wanted me to double date with them um my sister and her boyfriend and I was telling them like, no, you know, um, I'm okay, I'm, I'm a chill, um, cause I like being by myself in real life. So I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to do it, you know, I don't want to date or anything like that. I'm gonna just stay at home and chill. And that's uh sort of how it went. And um, and I just knew that I didn't, you know, want a boyfriend or anything. I just didn't want to um, even start nothing like that up in my life um because in the dream i was living as a celibate woman and i was devoting myself to the most high father in heaven um and giving all my time to him and that's what i was doing in this dream um and then the dream switched and um he used me um as being in a abusive relationship with a man um i even remember how this man looked he was kind of heavy set light skinned tall and i was in a relationship with him and i just had a baby by him just had a baby by him 
and this man was physically abusive to me, uh, mentally, verbally abusive to me, and he would jump on me, um, jump on me in the house. I mean, he would jump on me, whoop me from one end of the house to the other end. Um, he didn't care what family was around. Um, he just would, you know, hit me over and over and over again, and I would try to fight back. And it seemed like the more I would try to fight back, that I would make it the situation even worse for myself. Um, and I remember in this dream that it was um, a guy in the dream with me. He was very tall. And I remember in my spirit that this was the guy that Holy Ashaya sent to me. But because I was in this abusive relationship that I... Um, and just had a baby by this man that I could not give this this new man, you know, um, I could not be with this 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 man that that was in my life that just came into my life, and I knew he was sunk by by the Most High Father in heaven, but I couldn't I couldn't be with him. I couldn't do it because I had so I had a lot going on with this other guy, um, and I think. You know, Holy Ashaya put me into these different scenarios, these two different scenarios, um, because he he was like showing me how, you know, the life is of a woman that is celibate and that is waiting on him to send the right man, the right guy, her husband, and versus being in a relationship with someone that Holy Ashaya didn't send. And how I was going through all of this, um, all of these, you know, this abusive relationship. And I was going through um, these, I was just going through different shambles and all this hurt and all this pain. Um, and him hitting me every day. And, and I think Holy Ashaya was, you know, showing me that it's, so, it's okay to wait. It's okay to be celibate. Um, because you know sometimes the enemy he knows he knows your desires and the enemy can come in and um, he can send he can send a man that you think that that is so perfect in the beginning he's showing all the signs he's everything that you ever dreamed of everything that you ever hoped for and that you needed you wanted a man and then you know, he begins to change and turn on you, and he's nothing like what you thought he was. And, and the enemy will send a man in your life that way. And it can be in that very situation that Holy Yeshaya um, had me in a very abusive relationship where this man was just, I mean, this is all he did. And I tried to get away from him. I tried to leave him, and he wouldn't let me leave. And, um... And I was really hurt because I just had a baby by him, like I said, and he was still whooping me. Um, so, you know, Holy Ashaya wants us to wait. There's nothing wrong with you being celibate. There's nothing wrong with you waiting on the man that Holy Ashaya is perfecting for you. You know, um, and there's so many women out here, you know, they, they want to be married. I understand nobody wants to be alone. But, you know, you don't have to just give your body to, to anybody, you know. Um, you don't have to do that. You, you can wait, you know. You can wait patiently for Holy Ashaya to send, to send your man. Um, and it's a lot of different things you can do while you wait on Holy Ashaya to send you a man. You can build um, your faith. And your patience and Holy Yeshaya, you can build a stronger relationship, a stronger bond with Holy Yeshaya. Um, while you're waiting patiently on him to send you your husband, you can work on yourself, work on, you know, your inner issues, work on the reason why you you're, you feel that you need a man, that you feel lonely. You know, you can work on those things, you know, while you're waiting on Holy Yeshaya. Um and you can start to prepare, you know, yourself for your, your future plans, future marriages with a man, you know, while you wait. Um, in the Bible, there's 
so many scriptures that talk about waiting on holy Yeshua. In Psalm 40, it says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Holy Yeshua knows what you need better than you do. He knows that you need to work on some things on yourself. Some men, some women have not don't know what it is to fully submit to the most high father in heaven. So if you haven't submitted to to Holy Yeshua, submitted to the Father, how can you be fully submitted to a man? You can't be fully submitted and committed to a man if you have not submitted your mind, body, spirit, and heart, and all your ways, and everything about you to the Most High Father in Heaven, because you you need to understand that when you're waiting, you're you, you know you're being perfected. Holy Yeshua is perfecting you for that man or that woman. But in this case, I'm speaking to the women. Um, you're waiting for for Holy Yeshua to send you that man, and you just need to work on perfecting who you are finding out who you are what your likes are what your dislikes are you know and building a stronger relationship um with the father because when he actually sends you <laughs> when he sends you your your mate your husband the man that he perfected made just for you he's your your relationship together, the bond together is gonna be even stronger. He's gonna that relationship should push you further um, into having a better, stronger relationship with the Most High Father in heaven. Um, when when Satan send you a man, you're gonna go through something like what I was going through in that dream. It's it's not it's unequally yoked. Um, it's not. It's not something that comes from the Most High Father. It's not built in Him. It's not built on love. It's built on lust. And it's built on all the things that are born. Uh, that it, it's all built on things that are not godly. That's what I want to say. Um, and that's what Satan will do. He'll send you your desires. What you desire. And some of you are not ready for those you know those things some of us don't know what it what it even is to be a wife um, you know we have to go through that with Holy Yeshaya because Holy Yeshaya we are bride men and women but I'm talking about the women we are the bride and Holy um, Holy Father Holy Yeshaya is um, what I want to say we're the bride and he's the groom he's the groom so right now we are being perfected for him just like us cleaning ourselves our sins getting rid of issues getting rid of things that are not of him so we can be perfected so we can be the bride so we can make it um to heaven one day so we can make it being the the brighter the, the bride uh, i'm getting my words confused but i hope you understand what i'm saying um we're being perfected um he's right now we're getting ready to be able to go up so we can be able to become the bride everybody should be working towards becoming holy yeshaya's bride okay you the bridal army becoming a bride we have to be perfected and it's the same way you need to be perfected when um before your husband comes so you'll be able to submit to him Okay, because you he submits to Holy Yeshua, you submit to your husband, and and both of you submit to Yah, because he's going to be the head of the relationship. Okay, I didn't want to make the video too long. Um, no, I do not have a husband. <laughs> I don't know the first thing it is to being a wife, but um, right now I know that I'm walking in obedience to the most high father in heaven and i live my life as a um a celibate woman that is waiting on holy yeshaya whenever he gets ready whenever he says whenever he thinks that i'm ready for a husband then he will send one until then i'm focused fully on him i'm focused on you know doing the things that he wants me to do how to live my life for him 
um, you know, how to crucify this flesh, just letting him perfect me, letting my life be all about him, um, being submitted to him. I'm submitting, submitting all my ways to him. I'm, you know, that is how I live my life. So there was no actual difference in uh, me being that celibate woman versus, you know, going through that abuse in that relationship. Not saying that every man that you get tired of with is going to be abusive like that, but um, if he is not something by Holy Yeshaya, um, it's not going to last anyway. If if your your husband wasn't sent by the Most High Father in Heaven, it's not going to last because it's unequally yoked. And Holy Yeshaya is just saying there's nothing wrong with, with waiting waiting for your husband and letting him perfect you while you wait for your husband you can wait patiently you know um for him and not to give your body over to just any person just because you're lonely um you know you just want to be with anybody i know this world is it'll make you feel like that too um, like you alone, but we are never alone. You know, we're never alone. We're never by ourselves. Um, that's the enemy that will trick you and make you feel like you're lonely and you don't have nobody to turn to, nobody to talk to, nobody to cry out to, nobody to laugh to. But that's not true. If you don't have a friend in the world, you have the Most High Father. You have Holy Yeshua. You have the Holy Spirit. You can find yourself in your house talking to you, you know, talking out. That does not mean that somebody is not listening to you. If you have a relationship with the Most High Father in Heaven, He talks back. So we're not ever, you know, alone. So don't allow the enemy to make you feel that way that you need to rush into something that God did not put together. Okay. Um, in Psalms 62, verse 5, it reads, my soul wait thou only upon God. Let I've already really I've already covered this, but I just wanted to give a few scriptures about you know waiting on Holy Ashaya to send you your mate, your husband. Um in Romans chapter five, verse three through five it says, and not only so, but we glory but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope and hope make it not ashamed because the love of Yah is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. I've covered that also. And in Romans 12 verse 1 it says, I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of Yah that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto Yah which is your reasonable service I've already covered it too um, you you want to submit yourself you know as a living sacrifice to the Most High Father in heaven if you can do that then I'm pretty sure the Most High Father will send you your husband but it's work it's work doing in this walk and when he get ready to send you your husband, that is also work. Because when he send you, that's just the beginning. The work comes after you get married, you know. Um, I don't want to jump off the subject too much. But I um, just pray that you all um, understand what Holy Yeshua is saying. And 1 Corinthians um, chapter... Seven. I just read the first verse. You can read it for yourself. It says, Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is a good, it is a it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Uh, nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. That's another thing. Um, it's a lot of things going on out here um, in this world. Um, a lot of killings uh, of jealousy and rage and people being in multiple relationships um, try to avoid that um, like I said I don't want to get off the subject but avoid that just wait on Holy Yeshaya um, 
wait just wait on him wait on him 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 through 20 says um, let me click it flee fornication every sin that a man doeth is without the body but he that committed fornication sinneth against the whole body okay um, and you can go and read that for yourself 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 through 20 and last but certainly not least so like I said there's so many scriptures in the Bible that speak about celibacy and waiting on holy Yeshua. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 3 through 5 reads God wants you to be holy he wants you to stay away from sexual sin God wants each one of you to learn to control your own body use your body in a way that is holy and that gives honor to God. Don't let your sexual desires control you like the people who don't know God. Okay? So we don't want to be like the heathen. We don't want to be out here all over each other and, you know, having multiple sexual partners and doing all of these things, you know, that we don't supposed to be doing as women and men, you know, as women and men in the body of, uh, of Christ, it's, it's a way that you need to carry yourself in the first place. If it doesn't feel right, if it brings shame, then it's not right. Um, that's that's not it. So, um, just submit. Submit yourselves. Submit yourselves to the Most High Father in Heaven. And stay away from those, you know, sexual desires to sin. You know sin stay away from from anything that will cause you to sin you know um there's like i said there's different things that you can do to stay away from that type of stuff but once again i don't want to get off the subject so i pray um that you all receive this message in love i pray that you take it to holy ashaya and receive your own confirmation and um holy ashaya wants you all to wait there's so many things out here going on in the street um HIV and AIDS is really ramping up, especially in the young people. Um, it's this is the best time to be celibate, <laughs> to this abstain from um, sex altogether. Um, you can wait. I'm telling you, when it comes down to your life, you know, having you know having not waiting, just having sex. It only takes one time to get. AIDS, HIV, you know, so wait. Um, I pray that you wait. You know, I, I, I pray that women just refrain from from sex, period. Men too. Um, just wait on Holy Yeshia. There's nothing wrong with waiting. Um, I don't want to keep rambling on but i just pray that you take this message to holy ashaya and that he confirms this for you and i hope that you receive this in love um until next time blessings holy ashaya